So we're going with a stain look on the fence. What are our choices? Exactly. I got three samples here, Kevin. The first one is a clear coat on cedar, which you can see a lot of the grain and no pigmentation on it. Right. And this will last about two years. You're going to have to recoat it. So every two years, new coat. Every two years. All right. And we got lots of color here, so lots of pigmentation here. Exactly. This is a, a solid body stain. Yep. Which you can see no grain. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you want to keep the same nice look as you see now, every four years you got to put a coat on. So four years for this one. And what exactly. is this option here? Exactly. This is the third option, which is a semi-transparent stain, which you can see a lot of grain. Yep. And then you can see some colors to it. So just a little bit of green pigmentation. And how long until we have to reapply semi-transparent? On this one, every five to six years, you've got to put a coat on. Right. Yes. So which one are we putting up today? Today we're going to use this one here, which is a semi-transparent. All right. How do we get it up? Oh, I have three different ways we can apply it. We're going to use this nine inch wide by half inch nap. Okay. Okay, which is good because the, the, the cedar fence is a kind of rough surface. So the rougher the surface, the bigger the nap of the roller. Exactly, Kevin. That makes sure that every single area has covered by the stain. Okay, so nine and a half inches to get the body, but you've got this little four inch roller here, obviously to cut in around the tighter spots, right? Absolutely, because this big roller won't get everywhere, especially around the rails and posts and around the corners we'll be using this four inch roller that will do the cut in. You cut, I'll roll. Very good. For this top piece, I'm working off a ladder so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, Marl, looks pretty good to me. Looks good, but let me show you another way to do it. On this next section, we're spraying. Okay. Unlike on this other side that we had two steps, this was going to be one step only. So what the rollers are two steps is we're cutting in the corners and then we're rolling the field here. Corners and field are all going to be sprayed at once. Exactly. I got my machine, All right. which is any homeowners can get at any home center. Looks nice and contained. Is this uh, for the stain down here? Exactly. This is where you pour your stain. Yep. Very easy to use. Over here, I get the tip that I can turn and go horizontal Yeah. or I can turn this up and go vertical. And what do you prefer, horizontal or vertical? I prefer the vertical because of the grain of the wood. So go with the grain? Always with the grain. I want to go 50% over my last pass to get even coverage. So for a big professional job, you guys are going to use something else. Yes, I have this machine with an airless painter's best friend. Airless sprayer. So we've got a standalone motor here. Yes, motor here. This is my reservoir. As big as we want. Five gallon bucket in this case, you're not going to have to refill this that frequently. Not really. It kind of holds up to five gallons of paint or stain. Sucks it out of the bucket, actually pumps it through the hose, and then it brings it to the nozzle. And to this gun over here, which is much lighter to use, which I can go horizontal, Yep. or I flip my hand and I can uh, go vertical. Yeah. If you don't have a reservoir attached to the nozzle, it's easy to go any way you want. Exactly. And I can get jobs much faster with this. I'm using the same technique. I want to keep the same distance from the fence to the sprayer and overlap each pass by 50%. I'll go back and clean up any drips with my mini roller. That is a nice sprayer, Mauro, and great technique. So can we rent the airless sprayer? Yes, you can at some home center and any good paint store. Kevin. All right, well, three different ways to stain the fence. Thank you. Mm -hmm.